Vision is arguably the most compelling human sense. Words and stories and sounds allow us to imagine strange beasts and far-off worlds, but seeing makes us truly believe they exist. And that's why we place so much effort into correcting the optics of our eyes when they don't work, whether with glasses or contact lenses or surgery. But if you're in a pinch, bleary-eyed, or missing your glasses, there's a simple trick that will allow you to see clearly. Just make a tiny, tiny hole using your fingers, look through it, and the world will become clear again. This works no matter how blurry your vision is. Take off your glasses and give it a try. Amazing, right? But to explain this wizardry, we just need to remember how seeing works. Light travels outwards from a source, bounces off of objects in its path, travels into your eye and onto your retina, where it forms an image. If your eye had no lens, light from a single source would hit your retina in lots of places and result in a smeared out mess, which is exactly what happens when I take the lens off of my camera. A lens focuses that spread out light, corralling it into a crisp image on your retina. And after a little excitation of light sensitive nerves and interpretation from your brain, you see. But wait, when we look at an object, the background and foreground are usually blurry, because a lens can only focus light coming from one distance away. If an object is too near, or too far, its light will again be spread out on your retina, leaving you with a blur. Fortunately, muscles in our eyes allow us to accommodate by squeezing the lens, which changes its focal length so we can see at different distances, except when we can't, or when our lenses become damaged, in which case we need glasses. Unlike a lens, a pinhole or other small opening can focus light coming coming from any distance. Because it's such a small opening, it only allows light to come through in one place, and thus in only one direction from any particular source. So there's no blur, and everything is in focus. If you're familiar with photography, this is why using smaller and smaller apertures makes everything in your photo come into focus. Of course, small openings like pinholes and camera apertures create crisp images by blocking rather than focusing light, so the images are much darker, which is a major reason why we use lenses rather than pinholes for glasses, telescopes, and eyes. And yet, in a pinch, looking through a tiny hole made with your fingers can help you see. Now do you see why? This video is brought to you in part by Audible.com, the leading provider of audiobooks across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. If you go to audible.com slash minute physics, you can try Audible out by downloading a free audiobook of your choice, like The Particle at the End of the Universe by my friend Sean Carroll, who also writes an excellent blog about physics called Preposterous Universe. The Particle at the End of the Universe is Sean's most recent book, and it's about the search for and discovery of the Higgs boson. I highly recommend it. Again, thanks to Audible for helping me continue to make these videos and for giving you a free audiobook at audible.com slash minutephysics.